Senior health officials are sharing more information tonight on the impact of that bacteria discovered at the Princess Margaret Hospital's neonative intensive care unit. Two babies died and eight tested positive for the infection. Tonight, Altavis Munnings reports that Princess Margaret Hospital officials say they'll ensure that the bacteria is contained and that there have been no new cases. Medical Chief of Staff Dr. Jeffrey Penniman led Tuesday afternoon's press conference on the Acinobacter bomani E bacteria that was found in the neonatal intensive care unit here at the Princess Margaret Hospital. It was on July 18th when the hospital's infections control officer discovered the bacteria. That's when an officer notified hospital management. That's when medical officials declared an outbreak. The timeline also goes on to show that steps were immediately taken to contain the spread of the disease and an investigation was immediately immediately launched. The organism that um, we're talking about is one that is waterborne. It likes water. Um, all the water containing um, equipment such as say, a humidifier on a mechanical ventilator and the hoses that may be attempted to it, that may be attached to it rather, all of those were tested and um, we did not find this organism in, in those areas. I'm sorry to say, at this point in time, we, we, we can't say with any certainty exactly how it started. We know we've got it. Um, we did um, test the um, air conditioning systems for it, and um, we thought that there was some suspicious activity on the coils, um, but we are awaiting um, confirmation on, on what was there. Continued screening revealed that five of the infants are colonized. That's when the bacteria is present in the swab areas and not causing a disease, but they're all stable. Hospital staff also confirmed that all of the babies affected by the bacteria were less than two weeks old. Now, when the bacteria was initially discovered in the first baby, the child was isolated. However, later died on July 4th. The second baby died on July 17th. The senior medical officials couldn't specify the nationality of each baby, but they did indicate that hospital staff has spoken to the families of the premature babies who died and that only one baby is now being treated with antibiotics. Hospital officials assure the families of the babies who were tested positive that they are receiving optimum care. When we were children, we got plenty more infections than we get now. Children cannot fight off infections, and newborn is worse than us as little kids. These premature babies basically can't fight off anything. So we're aware of that. We're always looking for infections. A Cenobacter enters the body through open wounds, catheters, and breathing tubes. The last time the Princess Margaret Hospital experienced an Cenobacter outbreak was back in 1996, and it's unlikely that the bacteria will spread throughout the hospital. Meanwhile, senior hospital officials maintain that all of the babies tested positive in the 2012 outbreak are expected to live normal lives. The senior medical officials confirmed that none of the babies infected by the Acinobacter bacteria had to be airlifted abroad for further treatment. They also confirmed that no other infection or bacteria is being investigated here at the Princess Margaret Hospital. Now, reporters questioned the senior medical officials why an executive from the Public Hospitals Authority or the Minister of Health, for that matter, was present at the press conference, they responded that the senior health officials were confident that the technical health team was able to adequately answer all of the reporter's questions. Now, Princess Margaret Hospital officials want to assure the public that they are doing everything they can to investigate this incident, and they maintain that no other incidents will be seen here at the Princess Margaret Hospital. Altavis Munnings, ZNS News.